Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Seabra Chronics. Friends, our this series of videos to understand the function of inverter IGBT welding machine. So in our first video, I discussed how the AC rectifier unit is working, how to test it, how to troubleshoot it, and I also shared its diagram. So we discussed this in first video. In second video, I discussed the output stage, high frequency transformer and rectifier unit. How it is working, how to test it, I discussed in my last video. So if we see it very closely, it is just a just like a simple mobile charger or simple switch mode power supply just the configuration is changed we are taking AC input from this, these two points rectified stored in the capacitors bulk capacitors two capacitors in parallel 470 microfarad in parallel then we have a switching stage like a mobile charger like a SMPS we have a switching device in mobile charger we use a small IC to switch the high frequency transformer so the voltage will pass the same is here 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 we are using two IGBTs and we drive two IGBTs from a special driver as we drive the SMPS circuit through SMPS controller so we can say this is our drive circuit and this is high frequency output transformer the same as in mobile or in SMPS we use rectifiers so here are the rectifiers so in mobile circuit we use output terminal to charge the mobile and here the output terminal is used to weld something so here the difference the current the voltage so that is the reason the design and the size is slightly different but the working phenomena is the same so let's start in our last video I discussed the output stage that we receive drive and transformer is center taped each section have set of diodes rectifiers and we take output here is a current sensor and other things if you want to watch this complete video you can follow the link now how the drive circuit is working first of all we see the diagram this is our power transformer so power transformer come back to this point we have two IGBTs collector emitter gate collector emitter gate one IGBT's emitter is connected to negative terminal the second is connected to positive terminal here is gate drive network the second also have the same gate drive network one capacitor 470 J there is a signal transformer for isolation and the second terminal is connected to four ceramic capacitors they are both connected to positive and negative terminals of the main capacitor when we receive drive pulse this drive pulse will reach at secondaries these secondaries are out of phase to each other so every IGBT will work and second will stay silent one will conduct the second will in cutoff state when this will conduct the second will in cutoff state why because the signal polarity will change from the gate when this IGBT will work this positive voltage will switch from this point it will go to transformer winding and this time our these two capacitors will give path to complete the circuit from negative to negative terminal positive to negative terminal when our this IGBT will work this will silent at that time the negative cycle will reach from negative cycle will start from here from transformer 
to the positive sides from these capacitors so these capacitors have ESR value equivalent to the circuit as I discussed one end negative side is connected to the center point of four capacitors where are four capacitors one two three four these are 470 J 75 J 400 volt these two capacitors are connected to the cap main capacitor positive terminal here is positive terminal here is negative terminal so our these two capacitors will take path from this line and the second two capacitors if we see this point this point will come here through this jumper to this point negative terminal now we start this end this line this collector and this IGBT emitter so G2 G2 emitter G1 collector collector of G2 here is G2 collector of G2 is connected to positive terminal so this end is connected to positive terminal and emitter of G2 is connected to negative terminal so we shown here negative and positive and each IGBT have built-in diode for reverse protection and to work as a snubber now we see the gate drive circuit the both IGBTs have same this capacitor if you see this is gate this is emitter there is a one capacitor connected to 472J between gate and emitter and the same gate is connected to here two resistors one is 22 ohm second is 10 ohm so 22 ohm resistor if we see this point it is connected to this diode cathode and if we look this resistor this resistor is connected this point what is here here is diode this 10 ohm resistor 10 ohm resistor connected to diode diode and 22 ohm resistor are in parallel and connected to winding and the transformer second second end is connected to emitter so the winding is between emitter to gate and we have these gate drive components the same components are here for the second gate second IGBT and this transformer have this input primary primary winding here to operate this signal this transformer so when our this circuit will operate this here is SG3525 it will generate a signal this signal will pass here in the flow in the primary so our secondaries will produce signal these signals will be rectified and gate drive network so current will flow as we discussed earlier and in our next video we will discuss driver circuit SD3525 and low voltage power supply uh, here we have emitter to collector one resistor and one capacitor 47 ohm resistor and there is a one capacitor 102J 102J 3 kilovolt this capacitors I hope so friend this video is informative for you if it is informative like subscribe and share if you want thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh